This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. With PowerPoint 2010 comes shipped a number of templates that allow you to effectively start running as soon as you start PowerPoint. Now some of these templates are available directly on your machine and some of them are accessible at office.com like we've seen with the clip art. So to create a PowerPoint presentation using one of the built-in templates, we go to the file menu, come down to new, and instead of choosing blank presentation, which starts us off with a title slide and off we go, we can access recent templates. So if you've been using the templates already, the most recent ones will be listed here. Access some sample templates, access some themes, access your templates, or create a new PowerPoint presentation from an existing PowerPoint presentation. So these are the main sections across the top. We then have access to a whole raft of templates on office.com where they are categorized. So we have a budget category, calendar category, design slides, forms, gift certificates, invoices, plans, planners, minutes, and even more categories. So to start with, we'll access the sample template. So one click opens up the sample template directory, and we can see a number of sample templates. We have a contemporary photo album, five rules, introducing PowerPoint 2010, Pitch book, quiz show, training, widescreen presentation, urban photo album. Let's go with the introducing PowerPoint 2010. So we select the template we would like to use and then create. Now you'll see that you get given effectively a full blown presentation with spaces for you to fill gaps in. So we have the same layout. On the left here, we have our slides. So these are our mini slides, and we have 20. On the right, we see the main slide, and we've seen before, we can zoom in and out to make that fit on the screen. And in the bottom, we have some notes. So slide one says introducing PowerPoint 2010, and there are some notes that have been supplied with it that you can then read out if you so wish. Enhancing your presentation, authoring your presentation, getting started with templates, too much information, divide and conquer, etc etc so this actual template is an existing presentation ready for you to use and when you use a template as a basis for a new file you're actually creating a brand new file and you can see at the top it says presentation 2 that is using the template but it is not linked to the template forever it's just used it to create the file the file's now yours and you can go in and select a slide select any box you like and make changes so we can go into there edit the text Edit the text, and you'll find that all the bits that we've covered so far, like word art, text boxes, images, etc., is all that's been used in this presentation. And it's now up to you to go through the presentation and customize it to suit you. Having customized it, possibly added some more slides, possibly deleted some of the slides, you could then save the presentation as a new file. So that's File, Save. You'll see that it wants to save it now as a PowerPoint presentation. So you go to your documents, PowerPoint 11, and we will save that as sample template presentation. And that's now saved on your machine as a PowerPoint presentation that you can use and continue to edit. So to create a new PowerPoint presentation using one of the many templates that are supplied, it's file, new, we saw that sample templates has a few in existence there. We can go back. We could choose to download one from office.com. Perhaps we're interested in a budget type presentation. Category budgets is out of date. Please click back and select another category. Now we have a lot more categories. Let's go with presentations, business presentations, and then we have a lot to choose from here. Business strategy presentation, business plan presentation, financial puzzle presentation, marketing plan. Perhaps you're after a marketing plan. So I choose that template. Download, because that now has to be downloaded from office.com to be able to use that on my machine. And the template opens. It's got 17 slides in it, which I then go through 
and make the necessary changes. So for example, on the first one, it says product name. So I would click in and change the product name to guys magic pen name. And here we have to describe the product ourselves, competition, positioning, it's all laid out. So you're not just getting a color scheme and a background and graphics. You're actually getting the content for the bulk of the presentation, which you'll need to flesh out and map out to match the product in this case that you're trying to market. Presentation can then be saved. We use a little shortcut save icon there into your documents. Suggested is Guy's Magic Pen. It's just pick the first text off the first slide. It's a good suggestion and save. And that presentation is then saved on your machine for you to then edit, use, and then run.